there was a time when dinosaurs ruled the lands here. Hello viewers and welcome back to the channel. Yes, you heard it right. Alberta is a hotbed of fossils. Parts of Alberta was under the sea during prehistoric times and hence lots of marine fossils are found too. Alberta's current economy is heavily dependent on fossil fuel. Even today, fossils are found at random places when digging the land. Dinosaur Provincial Park, which is part of the Canadian Badlands, is known to be the world's best fossil site. Lots of marine fossils of fish including sharks, rays, amphibians including frogs, salamanders and reptiles including lizards, turtles and crocodiles. Mammal fossils from the park are relatively rare but found in abundance elsewhere. Lots of fos plant fossils are found here too. All the fossils are studied and exhibited in Drumheller, the home of the Royal Tyrell Museum of Paleontology. It has Canada's largest collection of dinosaur fossils. As of 2020, the museum building houses 13 exhibits that display approximately 800 fossils on permanent display. The museum's collection holds about 160,000 catalogued fossils. About 0.5% of the collection are placed on display in the museum's exhibits. Rest are used for studying by paleontologists and other experts. We went to another fossil site in British Columbia, the Burgess Shell. It is famous for the exceptional preservation of soft parts of its fossils. At 508 million years old, it is one of the world's uh, one of the earliest fossil beds on earth containing small soft part imprints. There are two locations here, Walcott Quarry and the Stephen Quarry. We went to the Mount Stephen tour. It was an 8 km hike with 800 meter elevation. When we reached the site, almost every second rock had a fossil on it. It was a tough hike and on top of that there was lots of smoke in the air due to a forest fire nearby. But the effort was totally rewarding. It's so hard to believe that what was under the seas millions of years ago is now on the mountains. Our planet is undergoing changes continuously since the beginning and who knows where this place would be in another million years or more. If you are interested in doing one of the tours, please check the link in the description for the Burgess Shell Foundation. So that's it for today, see you in the next one. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and comment. Till then, stay safe and have a good one.